crystal. I've loved dolls my whole life. I collect everything from porcelain to cloth, American Girl, neonates, and real care dolls. But my favorite is to collect and make reborn dolls. There's Chloe, Grace, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, Savannah, Zoe, Haley, Landon, Maisie, and Joshua. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it sure is a lot of fun. Hey guys, we're at the Oshawa Center, Marilyn and I. Hello. <laughs> and uh, I brought Maisie today. She's wearing a Jessica Simpson outfit from her Auntie Nicole. Uh, we got it last Christmas. And I don't think I've shown it on video, so I thought I would. It's got this cute little furry hood. Perfect for a cold day. And she has little fur, or knitted and fur trimmed boots. So we're just doing some looking around and shopping. And Marilyn's got Luca yeah. sleeping in there. <laughs> Using her Dumbo blankets. <laughs> We just popped into yes, Hallmark the for a minute because yes, I don't have any Hallmarks yeah, near me anymore. And we're looking at the thumper. I'm thumper. Okay. <laughs> but you can't guess why. <laughs> oh, that's it's so big. cute. Time for thumper. <laughs> so cute. Isn't it? That is cute. I love, I love one. I love. Yeah, I know. I can't. The prices. Yeah. Not now. But he's so cute. And I was nicknamed Thumper as a baby. <laughs> We're at Babies R Us now, and I am impressed with the amount of new preemie stuff they have out and they've got little packs of preemie onesies in short sleeves they have long sleeves um, there's some more right here it's pretty impressive because preemie stuff is hard to find usually they even have um they even have sleeveless onesies um let's see what else we can show you guys they've got a little pack of girls short sleeve onesies there's some long sleeves i don't see any um girl sleeveless in preemie but they have newborn these are all koala baby um and else they've got these ones are really cute. Then they have sleepers and preemies. Really cute. And I really like, um, they've got like a little penguin. And then this is newborn size. But look at that, guys. How cute is that? It's a little sloth. Nap all the time. We've got, let's see what else we've got. In preemie, we've got Hello Friend with a giraffe and an elephant and giraffe feet. There's bear hugs. There is a sheep. There's zoo animals and zebra. I mean, these are just so... See, oh, they do have the preemie. Um, um, yeah, my mind's going blank. Sloth. Um, they've got little clouds. They're only ten ninety nine. And then they've got more zoo animals here. Little packs of sleepers bears um they do have the sloth and preemie over there <laughs> oh yeah they do have it and they've got lions 
And what else do they have in preemie? I don't see any more here. Oh, there's some diaper vests. Um, plain white onesies, long sleeve onesies. And do they have the preemie sleeveless onesies? Because that would be awesome. They have a pack of short sleeves. any white sleeveless panties. We have plain ones. What did you... Yeah, the little peanut. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Oh, do they? Yeah. Yes, they have a bunch of new um, Disney things. They've got Minnie Mouse, this one's dirty, but Minnie Mouse purple outfit. I really like these thumper rompers, and they also have this adorable one that has a little flower tail. How cute is that? I really, really, really like this. If I hadn't bought stuff already, I'd be buying that maybe later this year. Um, we have Dumbo. Whoops. <laughs> Got Minnie and Aristocats. Mm, yeah. I really like this one, but I'm going to have to wait on that yeah. one. But that's really cute. Oh, it is. It's just come out, so I may even try to see like if it goes on clearance later in the year. <laughs> yeah. Also, we have Dumbo. More Dumbo stuff, Dumbo sleepers, Winnie the Pooh. There's a busy little bee, Winnie the Pooh set, Mickey Mouse, another Winnie the Pooh, and more Winnie the Pooh down here. Lots of great Disney outfits right now, and sleepers. Which one? Oh yeah, the lion. That does remind me of the Lion King. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it? It's a pretty yellow. It is very yellow. Yeah, it's a nice yellow. Isn't that pretty? It is. It's hard to get a nice yellow for them. Mm-hmm. And they have one with pants too. Yeah. Very cute. Get ready to be annoyed in three, two, one. Baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark Mummy shark do 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 mummy shark do 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 mummy shark do 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 mummy shark Daddy shark do 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 daddy shark do 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 daddy shark do 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 daddy shark Okay guys so I'm home um I did a little bit of shopping, but didn't go too crazy. Hi, Riley. Hi, baby. Mommy's home. Um, so basically, the main reason Marilyn and I got together um, was to discuss our plans for the upcoming IAC doll show. Um, for those who don't know what the IAC doll show is, I'm going to link to the last video that I made about that show so that you guys can get all of the details for it. Um, and there is going to be um, another giveaway of passes to the show coming up soon, probably sometime this week. I'll get that giveaway started. Um, anyway, so that was the main reason we got together was to kind of like go over our plans um, for the show, like what times we want to head down and what day we want to head down there. Um, and then kind of planning what we want to do for food and things like that. And just kind of planning out our week. Um, then we also wanted to go to the Charmed, what is it called? Charmed Aroma. Um, <laughs> Riley is like going nuts on my bag here, as you can see, because I'm petting him and He's happy I'm home. Um, we wanted to go to the Charmed Aroma booth, uh, not booth. There's a kiosk at Vaughn Mills. And I got some Christmas presents for people there. But 
um, we wanted to go check out, they actually have a store at the Oshawa Town Center. I think it's called the Oshawa Town Center. Um, we wanted to go and look at it to see what new stuff they had come out with. And I was really happy that they had this particular candle that comes with a necklace in it. Um, and I wanted to get that for my sister-in-law for her upcoming bridal shower because it went perfectly with the theme of the bridal shower. Um, so I got her gift and I also got a Mother's Day gift for my mom. <coughs> Excuse me. So obviously I'm not showing those on camera. Just in case they were to see this video, I don't think they will watch this video because I don't think they watched any doll related videos on my channel. I think they usually only watch my vlogs, if anything. Um, but just in case, I don't want them to see what I got. So I'm not going to show those. Um, but we did go and check out Jimboree because Jimboree is closing and we wanted to see if they had any good deals so everything was 50 percent off that was clearance um so it was 50 percent off the clearance prices they didn't have a whole lot there because of course everything was their new style which i'm not too keen on riley is really into this jimboree bag <laughs> But anyways, I'll show you what I ended up getting. Um, I only got two things. I got this cute raccoon shirt for the boys, either Landon or Joshua. But I had more Joshua in mind because Joshua came home with like the woodland theme. And I believe he has pants that have a raccoon on it or something to that effect. So I thought this was really, really cute. Um, and I think it only came out to like seven bucks after the discount. Um, then I got this because this was one of the few items that I liked from their new line of stuff that came out this past winter. Um, it's a knitted romper and it's kind of like, I love the bright red, but it also kind of has like a rainbow thing on top. And it's got actual buttons, um, not snaps, around the legs and crotch area and on the shoulder at the top. And I thought that the colors of this really would suit, excuse me, Maisie. But at the time that they brought it out, there was no way I was going to pay the full price. Because full price for Canadian was $53.50. And I was like, there's no way I'm paying that. So they had it reduced to... I'm trying to think. They did have it reduced. Oh, they had it reduced to $41.99. And then it was 50% off of that. So it was like... 21 bucks which is still kind of up there but considering it was regular 53.50 i was okay paying 21. i wish it was a little bit lower but i really really love it and i figured they're closing so this is like my one last chance to get this for her so i think that's gonna look really cute i'm gonna wash it up um because the red I'm always a little leery with the reds, but I just basically wash, I wash all of my baby clothes. I think I've mentioned this in videos before. I am the type that I wash all of my baby clothes when I get them before I put them on the dolls. I may, if I'm not sure if it's going to fit them, I may try them on before I take the tags off so that if they don't fit, I will return or exchange because I don't like to waste money like that. Um, I've learned the hard way. Um, I've done it in the past where I just buy them thinking, oh yeah, it'll fit. And I take the tag off and then come to find out, no, it doesn't fit or it doesn't suit them or whatever. And then I've wasted my money. So I don't do that anymore. I keep the tags on, um, unless I'm a hundred percent sure I keep the tags on, try it on the baby. And if I don't like the way it looks on them or fits them, 
I either will exchange it for the size that I need if I think that it will suit them. If I don't like it at all on them, then it goes back and I get my money back. Um, but anything that I do decide to keep um, and I take the tags off, I wash everything first. And that is mainly because of germs. Um, whether it's secondhand or not, I don't care. Even with my own clothes that I buy for myself, I will not wear something that's, even if it's brand new from the store, I will not wear it until I wash, wash it. And it's because of germs guys. And like, I, it's not so much that I'm a germaphobe. Um, for one thing, my immune system, I have to be very careful, but honestly, like I just recently saw actually on Dr. Oz, Riley, you all right? I thought he sounded like he was about to throw up. Sometimes he does this weird meow when he's about to. Nope, now he's just cleaning himself. Okay. Um, I actually just recently saw um, on an episode of Dr. Oz, they were talking about, they started off by talking about like buying underwear at the store and how much bacteria is found on underwear and why you should wash it before you wear it. Um, but then they expanded on that and said, really and truly, um, you should wash all of your clothes before you wear them because those same germs are found on regular clothes. And that could be from cross contamination. Like there could be a specific germ or virus or bacteria on an article of clothing. You put it in the bag with whatever else you've bought and now it's on everything. And there was some pretty scary bacteria and, and, and viruses found on these articles of clothing, not just underwear, but clothing. And so really and truly they, they agreed that everyone should wash everything before they wear it. And I was like, well, I've already been doing that for years. So I guess I'm doing something right with that. Um, and it's no different with my dolls. I know my dolls are not humans. But I am handling my dolls and I'm handling the clothes that they're wearing. And I do not, you know, like even just now touching this, there could be tons of germs on this because think about it, guys, it's in a store. And how many people have gone through that store and touched this item and they may not have washed their hands properly and they may have fecal matter and whatnot and other nasty germs on their hands and they've touched all this clothes. And so even though it looks crisp and brand new and clean, it's really not clean guys. Like there's germs all over this. Like after I handle these, I'm going to go wash my hands again. Um, they are going to go in the laundry. So just a little, a little thing out there. I know some people don't like to wash the brand new clothes because they want to keep them in pristine condition. But if you're careful washing them, they will not, just from one washing, they're not going to be in shambles. Um, I will wash this probably on a cold, delicate cycle and hang it to dry. And it'll look the same. Um, you know? So just a little food for thought there. That's why I always wash my clothes first. Because I don't want any germs on my dolls or on me that could make me sick. Because that's the last thing I need with my immune system. But anyways, that's what I got from Jimboree. Um, and then, oh, that's to say also, it's good to wash your baby clothes. Um, not just because of the germ aspect, but just to make sure that no dyes um, run off the fabrics and stain your doll. Um, the, mostly you have to be concerned about blacks, navy, blues, and bright reds are the, the most troublesome ones. Those are the ones that could do damage and dye your doll. Um, but overall, like I said, I just do all of them. Now, we also went into Marshalls and, um, I ended up getting a few things there. I got these beet whole grain chips because... Alex brought some home. His coworker got some 
from Costco for him. And I have never been one to like beets, but these are so good. And they're actually really healthy. Like they are literally made from beets. They have flax seed in them. They are low in sodium. They're low in cholesterol. Well, there's zero cholesterol in them. Um, there's like no trans fat, hardly any saturated fat. Um, so they're just really, really, um, a healthy snack. Then I also found, sorry, I just knocked the camera. I found the Hungry Caterpillar Teether, um, Teether Rattle, what have you. Uh, I also got some more bottles to add to my Etsy shop. So I got some Gerber First Essentials, three for five dollars. And I also got these adorable little pink knitted boots for Maisie. I couldn't resist them. They were so perfect for her. How cute are those? I just couldn't resist those. And then also I couldn't resist this blanket even though I have too many blankets. But I did get rid of a lot of blankets recently. So that's how I justified this purchase. Because it's a llama blanket. And some of the llamas are wearing red scarves. And it's so stinking cute. And the back is like a super soft color. And it's just a nice neutral gray color. So that is so adorable. And then finally... I also got a pack, a three pack of Tommy Tiffy bottles um, for $13. And these are also for my Etsy shop. Um, so I have six, nine, I have nine bottles with the newbie ones I bought the last time. I have nine bottles to add to my Etsy shop. Um, so that's really good. And so now that... I'm not working. I should be able to get those up this week. I just have to take pictures in my light box and get those put up. And then I'll let you guys know when they're available for purchase. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. We went to Buy Bye Baby. Um, I did not buy anything there. They still had those super soft knit outfits that I really, really love. But they, and I was really, really hoping they would be on clearance, but they weren't. They were still like, oh my gosh, what do they usually go for? Like 35 to like, or 45 to like 50 bucks. And I can't bring myself to pay that price for one outfit. So I was just like, no, 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 no. But I love those so much and I'm like, okay, well at least they still carry them. Maybe, hopefully, closer to spring they will put them on clearance. I'm hoping. But for now, I'm like, no. I didn't buy anything there. Didn't buy anything at Babies R Us. Um, although I really, really loved that Thumper Romper, but I didn't want to spend money on that. Um, we went to Staples and I was going to get, we went there because I was going to get a new um, binder for my doll binder because I needed one that was a little bit thicker because I'm running out of room in it. But then what I ended up deciding to do is I ended up deciding to buy a new thicker binder for, for my recipe binder. And then the old recipe binder is going to be my new doll binder because it's the exact size that I needed. And we actually needed a bigger binder for our recipes because it's basically so full I can't fit any more in it. So I went from, that's a one and a half inch ring binder. Excuse me. So I bought Riley, Riley. So I bought a two inch binder as our new recipe binder. Hi, hi buddy. Um, so I bought a two inch one that's gonna be our new recipe binder and then the one and a half inch ring binder is gonna be my new doll collector binder. And then 
the doll collection binder. I don't know. I'll probably just donate it to Value Village or something because I don't think I need it for anything else. Um, unless I make it like into some sort of scrapbook or something. But that's basically it. Um, that's all I bought today. So we had a really nice time out and I'm home in time for dinner. Alex should be home within the next half hour. And we just have some leftover pulled pork sandwiches that we're going to have for dinner. Um, so no need to cook tonight. Tomorrow is calling for another big snowstorm that's going to go into Wednesday. So I believe Alex was planning to book tomorrow off. So I think he's going to be home with me tomorrow. So that'll be nice. I won't have to worry about him driving on the highway in a nasty snowstorm. Um, cause sometimes it will take him like three hours to get home and stuff like that. So, and then I'm like sitting here worrying like crazy. Um, so that'll be nice. We'll be able to have the day together and we can make a nice dinner or something like that. Maybe if the roads aren't too bad come the evening, um, we might be able to go to the keg for dinner because I still have a gift card for the keg and we've been saving it to do for Valentine's Day, but we've learned never to go to the keg on Valentine's Day, like on actual Valentine's Day, because you can't make reservations. They don't allow it. Um, and when you go, you will literally be waiting like, an hour or two to get a seat. So we decided we'll go at some point this week, just not on actual Valentine's Day. <laughs> so anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I know I didn't film too much when we were out and about. Um, it was just because of the way that the day went. Like there wasn't really much to film really. And we ended up meeting up with Marilyn's mom and sister for lunch in the food court. So I didn't know about like filming them and stuff like that. We did get great reactions today. I just didn't have my camera ready to capture them. I really should have brought my GoPro, I guess. I'll do that next time. But um, we got great reactions. Everyone was fooled. Everyone thought Maisie was real. But they would like look at her for a while and realize like her facial expression wasn't changing. And they were like, wow, like this baby is um, like her expression is frozen. And then, you know, I'd finally explain that it was a doll and they would get a good chuckle. And, and they were just amazed. They were amazed by the realism and yeah, we, we did not have any negative feedback. Everyone loved our babies. They were amazed by the artistry. So that was great. Anyways, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye.